Yo guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and today we have got the best SPR class in Warzone right now. Obviously it got nerfed a little bit a little time ago, but this is the best class app that I found for it right now. And this class app is absolutely insane guys, I'm sure you're going to love it. It's just so easy to run, like you don't even have to be good with snipers to be able to use this class, it's just that good of a gun. But quickly guys, before we do jump into it, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. We're on the road to 5k subs right now, so if you're looking to help us out, that'd be absolutely amazing. Also, if you enjoyed the video, smash a big thumbs up, let me know your thoughts on the class in the comments below. But I'm going to jump right into it right now. So guys, it's going to be the normal setup. I am going to run you guys through the attachments we are running and tell you why we're running each attachment. And then also then just show you some clips at the end of the video so you guys can get an idea of how it does play in game because you want to know how it plays. It plays really, really well, guys. It's just the easiest sniper to use. There's not a lot of bullet drop. It's pretty much you aim it up, you line it up with your headshots and you're going to hit headshots with it. So it's really, really good for that. But on the muzzle, guys, we go for the monolithic suppressor. And of course, it's a monolithic suppressor. I run the monolithic suppressor on all my guns. It takes you off the radar when you are shooting, which is obviously good with a sniper. You might be on top of a building. You might be holding down a certain area towards the end of the zones. You don't know what you might be doing, but you're probably going to be in a particular area if you are sniping. Or you're going to be trying to hit shots from an area for a good couple of minutes. So you don't want to be peering on people's radar because they're going to know exactly where they're being shot from. They're just going to be able to avoid your shots. They're just going to get out of the way. All people are going to run up on you from behind. Also, guys, it does increase the damage range, which obviously is what you want. You can see how high the range is on this gun. Like, look how high that is. It's nearly actually maxed out. I've never seen something that high up in this game, I don't think. It's nearly maxed out, and the damage range just being added is obviously such a big bonus. You want to be doing as much damage at the range as possible. Even body shots are basically a two-shot every single time. It cracks shield with the first one, finishes them with the second one. So this is a very, very good attachment for the gun straps the bat. Next up, guys, for the barrel, I go for the SPR 26 inch, and this will increase the damage range, the bullet velocity, and the recoil control. Obviously, the recoil control isn't too much of a difference because you is like a bolt action uh, sniper, so you do have to bolt it before shooting again. But obviously, the bullet velocity as well just makes it a lot more accurate, less bullet drop and stuff like that. And of course, like we said before, the damage range being added just allows you to get them extra one or two shots at the range. It doesn't matter how far away they are, be as far off as you can possibly see them. If you can hit them, it's going to be a two shot kill wherever you hit them. If you hit them in the knee, it's a two shot kill. If you hit them in the foot, it's a two shot kill. Obviously, hit them in the head, one shot kill. Other than that, it's a two shot kill. But it breaks you with a first shot, and then we'll finish them off with a second shot. So we go for the SPR 26 inch on the barrel. I actually didn't go for the attack laser, guys. And the reason that I do this is because a couple of the other attachments that we have put in have taken away from the bit of the mobility, the ADS speed, and all sort of things like that. And obviously, the attack laser brings up the ADS speed. It brings it brings up the aim and stability, and it does bring up the aim walking steadiness. Obviously, the laser is visible to enemies, and unless you're stood there hard scoping in a really random place, this isn't going to bother you. It's not going to affect you in any particular way. So I go for the attack laser, like I say, to improve the mobility, just make the gun ADS faster, just allows you to get into better positions with the gun before your enemies can get there, or if you can get a vantage point on someone, and it also so like I say, it allows you to bring that ADS speed up. So if you see someone, you're actually going to be able to ADS and then just pop them off. Just get shots off, kill them, get them out of the way, move on to the next person you're going to be able to find. So that's why I run the attack laser on this. Next up, guys, of course, is the Solo Zero SPR 28mm. It's basically just a sniper scope for this. Obviously, the SPR is actually a marksman rifle, not a sniper rifle. So if you guys can't find it in snipers, it's in the marksman rifle category. And it doesn't come with a scope, hence why we have to put this sight on. It's a bit annoying that it doesn't come with a sight. I'd love to run a different attachment somewhere else because there's some really good attachments on this gun that you could put on. But just because of the fact that it's not um, got a sight on it, you have to put a sight on, therefore you lose the attachment somewhere else. But this sight's actually really clean, guys. It's a proper clean sight. If you guys like the VLK, you're going to love this because it's basically just a little red dot in the middle. It's very, very clean. It doesn't get in the way of the screen. You can see everything. It's just an amazing sniper scope. You'll see in the clips at the end. I am running this scope on all the classes, apart from a couple of clips where I hadn't quite unlocked it. So I was using the um, whatever other scope it was, the Scout Combat Optic, I think, which isn't great. would never recommend using anything other than a sniper scope on snipers, especially in Warzone, because it's just so much harder to hit your shots. It just doesn't feel good. It, everything feels wrong without a sniper scope. So that's why we run the Solo Zero. Like I said, it is a sniper scope. It allows you to see everyone at the range like a proper sniper scope would. And finally, guys, we do actually go for this magazine, um, the, the Lapua Mag. I've definitely said that wrong. But yeah, that's the mag we go for. And the reason for this is it increases the bullet velocity so you can have less bullet drop. It increases the damage range and it increases the damage. Again, it does slightly take away from the ADS speed and recoil control. Like we said with recoil anyway, you're bolting it back before you're shooting again. So that's not the end of the world. And this mag's actually really, really good. I've seen a lot of people using it. I've, I messed about between the pair of these. And I just preferred the damage that this done, the extra damage. Um, because you already lose the ADS speed there anyway. So it's not the end of the world. And then to have this where it does also increase the damage as well. And it just takes away from the recoil control. Which, like I've said several times, doesn't make a difference. So we do run this magazine. Uh, but the reason that I said about the sight, guys, is like I say, you've got this bolt assembly here. Which we haven't seen on any of the marksman rifles or snipers before, I don't believe. And uh, it's actually got rechamber speed, meaning you're going to shoot faster. It's going to bring that fire rate up. It's basically going to bolt it back quicker and get another bullet into the chamber pretty quickly. And I'd love to be able to run this, but the fact it doesn't come with a sight doesn't allow you to do that, which is really annoying and it just, it's just kind of frustrating. But 
is what it is. Uh, obviously, when Cold War comes out, we're going to be able to have attachments in all these different slots as well as the ones we've already got, which is going to be really, really good. The class apps that you guys are going to see for Cold War are going to be amazing, guys. So make sure you are subscribed with notifications turn on because when Cold War drops, there's going to be videos flying at you non-stop on this channel. Trust me, I'm going to be doing my best to get you all the tips and tricks, the camo guides, everything you could possibly need for Cold War. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turn on so you don't miss any of them. Obviously, this is the class full look. So if you do want to um, pause it here, go make it in your game so you can use it in uh, Warzone. Then you're more than welcome to do so. As you can see, the accuracy is right up there. The damage is right up there. And like I say, the range is pretty much maxed out. I don't think you could actually shoot a gun and do as much damage any further than this thing does. Like we say, the fire rate takes a bit of a knock. Not the end of the world. It's a bolt action anyway. Mobility, yeah, it does take a bit of a hit because that's where the ADS speed has been lost a little bit. But it's still got a really good ADS time. Don't let that fool you. You'll see in the clips, it's still got a really, really good ADS speed. So don't worry about that. The control, again, that's just a recall. So that's not the end of the world because like we say, bolt action... Recoil control could literally be down the bottom. You're going to be shooting one shot, bolting it back. You're going to be lined up by the time you've bolted it anyway. So, guys, this is the full class. If you do want to make it into your game, go do that now. It's an amazing class. Pause it right here. Make sure you do stay till the end, though, and watch the clips that we have got for you guys. There's some really, really cool ones in there, some good ones. There was one a uh, couple of games where I picked up someone else's class, and it was absolutely shredded. I'm not too sure what what attachments he had on it. I'm pretty sure it was a very, very similar setup to this. So, it might have slightly different attachments on it. And if you do notice any different attachments, Please let me know in the comments below because I'll be more than happy to address that because, like I say, I did pick up someone else's class for a couple of the kills. So if you do see it, then, yeah, go for that. But there was a couple when I was using the scope combat optic as well where I quite, hadn't quite unlocked the uh, newest or the scope that I've got in it right now. So, um, yeah, there, there might be a couple of clips where there's a bit of a different scope. And if there is, like I say, that's because I didn't unlock it. But, yeah, guys, I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, such a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts on this class in the comments below. It's one of the best snipers in the game. I'm going to get a quick scoping class for this in the, in the next couple of days as well in case you guys want to start using it in multiplayer. But yeah, guys, if you like to say, if you haven't already subscribed with notifications turned on, we're on the 5k subs right now. But I'll catch you with the next one in a bit. And one. What? Nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe got one bullet down someone. No, I didn't get the down there. That wasn't me. Oh, that was Harry. What's your left? That's again. Down one. Right. This okay. SPR is sick. Oh, man. You won it, surely. Nice. Yeah, just keep playing on your left. Watch like, behind us. Watch behind us. I'm shooting down by the um, Oh, I'm being shot! That's only quite from. Literally in front of us. I broke his shield. Downed him. <laughs> Kieran, pushing you, pushing you, pushing you. I'm down one, buddy. I need help. Pushing. Yeah, I'm up, 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 Down him. Hell of a snipe. You just saved my life. I got him. I hit, I hit that zombie to the left, Harry, once. Yeah, got him. Whoa, Where's this other sniper? Right in front of us. Just being a fucking loser. To I think. Being tracked. Oh well. Wow. Yeah. Woo! Don't worry about him. Cause there's like two or three of them. Yeah, yeah go him. Wait, in that building, you like? Yeah. Yeah, broke his shield. One shot. On the roof. Him a couple of times. Crack shield. He's free. Wait, how is he not dead? I think they jumped out the back. Nope. Yeah, they did. One, one jump. Down one. Off to the back.